plaintiff, Cody Johnson, agreed to buy a car from the defendant. But when they met up, he felt the defendant was shady and appeared to be high on drugs. Cody's suing because the defendant took his down payment and then sold the car to someone else. Defendant Stephen Willis admits that he took a down payment from Cody, but before he could pay off the vehicle, Stephen got a better offer, and he went with that instead. Stephen claims he tried to refund Cody's money, but he refused to take it. Start with you. I met Stephen Willis on May 2nd, 2013. He was a shady person, you know, probably gets high. You know, he looked, looked baked when I, when, I, when I showed up to, his, to meet him. And, uh, and he's just very unreliable, untrustworthy, just that kind of person. On May 2nd, I went, my buddy called me and said that there was a car for sale on the Facebook forums for cheap. It needed a part fixed, you know, not a big deal. And uh, he said that he'd come pick me up and we could go down there to Greenwood, Indiana, and I would give him as much money as I could tonight, which was $680, which was all the money I could get out of the bank at the time. And you saw him? Steven? Mm -hmm. Yes. And gave him money. I gave him the $680. You had already determined he looked shady. Yes. He looked, he looked like he was on drugs. He was a liar and he was untrustworthy. At the time, I needed a car. I was like, it was, I was down to the wire. I had a, I had a job lined up. I had already been hired for a job. And this I, was the only car in the entire region no, you're that right. you could buy. It wasn't the only car in the entire region. So I buy. next time when you need a car and the person looks shady, untrustworthy, on drugs, <laughs> find another car to buy. Roger that, Your Honor. Go ahead. He said, Roger that. All right. <laughs> So, so tell me what happened. I gave him the six hundred and eighty dollars. Me and my what buddy, was the total price? It's nine hundred and seventy five dollars. So right. I owed him two hundred and ninety five dollars. Mm -hmm. I went to uh, we had left that night, we shook on it, everything. We left that night, me and my buddy. He took me back to my house and we were supposed to come back in the morning, trailer the car home. Let me hear from him. Sir. Uh well, I mean, I met Cody, you know, on Facebook. First of all, are you on drugs and are you shady? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. No. Never, never done drugs, ever. How about Shady? No. <laughs> you slow about answering. Are you Shady or not? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not Shady okay, at all. Okay, well, you slow about answering it. Go ahead. <laughs> I mean, you never know who you're gonna meet on Facebook and Craigslist. I mean, I never really knew Cody or what type of person he was. I mean, can't really trust him. He just showed up at my house, you know, unexpected. I mean. We you didn't can't. know he was coming to buy a car from you? I knew that he was coming, but then later on when he was coming, supposed to be coming back, you know, he, he just showed up. He didn't really tell me that coming he was- Coming back yeah, to- Coming back to my house. He just, <coughs> he didn't let me- he To didn't, make the second payment? Yeah, he didn't inform me of it. He just kind of showed up. he was coming up. to make the second payment. Yeah, to make payment. the second payment, yes. And you didn't want the second payment, obviously, under those terms. Don't show up and give me my money. Yeah. How did you, pref you preferred it to come in the mail? No. So what else do you want to tell me? That, well, um, I mean, the, the price of, that I was asking for the car was, was $1,200. We agreed on a price of 975 Well, he came to my house, you know, to come and get it. I had no idea he was giving me $680. He walked around the car, made sure he wanted it. Hands me $680. There was no written agreement out. It was just a verbal handshake. Mm -hmm. He said, I will be back to give you the rest of the money. Well, later on that day, I got a phone call from a buddy of mine offering me the full price for the car. I told him, yes, he could come and get it tomorrow afternoon. Told Cody about it. You didn't tell him you'd already sold it? No. <laughs> you didn't tell the guy this car has already been sold, but I'm just going to sell it to you. Yeah, well, I mean, there was no, I mean, I told, I ended up telling Cody about ended it. Ended up? <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have known you that. You took this man's money and then sold the car to somebody else? The car the was no longer yours, sir. You had a lien on it for the balance, but when you took it $680, the car was no longer yours. All you had was a lien for the balance. But there was no written agreement out. There had to be a written agreement. You agreed, you shook hands, you took his money. That's the agreement. The agreement is I took your money. Yes. And then you sold it and now you don't want to give him his money back? Is that why we're here? 
I, mean, I thought you said you weren't on drugs. I'm not. <laughs> wrong with you? Is that wrong with you? <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Is that why we're here? I, I do believe so, Your Honor. He that, sold the car, and now he doesn't want to give you your money back? You know, that's all I do. I, I wanted my money back, and so I could go get another car, and yeah. I could go into this job that I just got. I, is that too much to ask for? <laughs> <laughs> what do you say to not giving him his money back, sir? No, I mean, I offered it to him. He told me no, he just wanted the car. So, <laughs> did you give him that? No. <laughs> so what is your excuse now? You didn't give him the car or the money. Do you oh. think he deserves anything back? <laughs> anything at all? No, I mean it's... You don't. <laughs> Why don't you think he deserves anything? I mean, it's not my problem. Nothing was written out. <laughs> I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> Sir, you're suing for? Lost wages of a, a total of $2,040. Because I couldn't a, get a purchase on a car did not go through properly, you want to sue the person who was selling you the car for the days you missed at work. Because they're responsible. He is responsible. He's responsible for you getting to work. When you go to the car dealership and you wait on them to approve your credit, and if they don't approve your credit, you're going to sue them because they, you couldn't go to work because they didn't approve your credit to buy the car? No, it was just... It was just... Why? You're not thinking reasonably now. $680. Have a good day, gentlemen. I think everything turned out the way it should have. Um, yeah. Fair. Didn't really know each other before, but yeah. now this is done and over with. I think we can go on about our business.